Are we the last living souls? 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 Hey guys, back finally with a Euro commentary. Uh, as you can see, I am using the wing prick. It doesn't function any differently. It just looks like a voodoo pin instead of a Saharan dagger. So, some say, some would say that it looks cooler. Um, and for the most part, I think it looks pretty cool. I don't really like how it spins, but, you know, what are you going to do? In terms of design, the uh, Ur is actually probably the best weapon in the game. Uh, it changes the Spy's core gameplay pretty drastically, but at the same time, it's balanced. Uh, you very rarely will you find somebody who's complaining about the Yur being overpowered or underpowered, because, quite frankly, it's neither. Um, the only problem it really suffers from is that it does better in lower skill levels than it does in higher, because communication just crushes it. Uh, especially in servers where there's grave talk on and in competitive, but you know, you're not going to see a lot of spy in competitive anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. But with the Dead Ringer, it's actually, uh, I, I've i always said this and I don't really suggest that you're with the Dead Ringer. With the Saharan Spy set, it's a little better, but it's very hard to get that first stab. If you do get the stab, then it's actually pretty good, but. Like I said, it takes way too long to get that first tab. You might as well go cloak and dagger and sit in the corner for how long it takes. Uh, quick interjection here. Um, I do use cover to kill that sentry because I don't have a disguise. Uh, and then I do try to take the point. Almost kill the sniper. Fail. And just almost get the point. Barely miss it. And it's terrible. But um, the Yur actually is kind of a love-hate relationship with sentries. If you have a a disguise, it's actually very easy to kill them, because you can just kill the engineer and sap it without it even noticing. Um, if there's multiple engineers, then you can kill one, kill another, and then sap everything. And in that aspect, it's very good, but if you don't have a disguise at all, then you will get absolutely destroyed by sentries. And now I used um, cover there, which actually helped greatly, and... As you can see, it was pretty successful. They don't really have a defense anymore, and I'm just cleaning up at this point. But um, on the topic of loadout, actually, uh, I was talking about Dead Ringer before. Um, I've actually said before that Cloak and Dagger is pretty good with gear, and it is. But I actually tried to play some Cloak and Dagger. Uh, I just couldn't get into it. I mean, especially for this map in general, it's very long. I would have had to start and stop a lot, and it's just. In concept, it's actually, I like it in concept, but I think it needs an, a, a buff. I think it needs to be able to pick up ammo by, um, I need, I, uh, I think it needs to be able to pick up ammo for its cloak, and, uh, I do believe that it'll be balanced, because it'll have a diminished effect with the cloak and dagger, since you have a shorter cloak, so the ammo will refresh less cloak duration, and I think, really, that's all it needs to be a good watch, but, um, yeah, uh, right here you'll notice that every time I shoot, I get that whoop. You'll notice I got two headshots in a row on that, um, heavy, and that whoop actually, uh, lets me know when my cool, when my ambassador headshot cooldown is up. So, basically, when you hear that sound, and I shoot, and I hit them in the head, that means they're gonna get headshot. If I shoot them in the head before that happens, then nothing's gonna happen. And actually die very embarrassingly to that spy. I underestimated him because he was using a scout disguise and it was very obvious and I didn't really think he knew what he was doing, so I just kind of ignored him and that bit me in the ass. But um yeah, for the ambassador, I mean I kill this pyro right here. It's just the damage it does is so powerful. And especially with the year, um when you don't have a disguise and you want to do damage, it does the most damage, and when you're using the urine, and you do have a disguise, and you need to break it to shoot, then you're going to want to be doing a lot of damage, and it does the most damage out of all the revolvers, and it's just, it, it has the highest skill cap, which is something I'm very, um, something I 
like because I like having room for improvement and you actually notice that I do headshot a lot in this video. Uh, I was actually surprised by that since my hitscan aim is um, pretty terrible. But I do get quite a bit of headshots and I'm very proud of that. Now I'm lucky that that soldier didn't have his rocket launcher out for whatever reason. Uh, I do go for a stair stab but I, I didn't estimate correctly so I just kind of make a getaway. Uh, they're all looking for me. That pyro is just flaming around and so I just kind of ignore them and go help my team and I do prick up an, uh, a decent chain here. I don't really kill anybody outside of those pyros but I do kind of distract that medic. Uh, that was my terrible hit scamming. That's typical. But um, yeah we do clean up this soldier with a uh, crit headshot which is pretty cool. And then um, I am using my zoom script here because they are very far and it's very helpful. So, you know, pushing scripts, I do believe that they are fantastic and everybody should use them. People will disagree with me because apparently they're cheap or something, but um, I, I, I simply don't understand that train of thought. It's convenience and why wouldn't you want to make your life easier? Um, I do try to go for that spy, but he did outmaneuver me. Uh, I'm kind of scared of that demo, but I think he had to reload because he didn't shoot anything at all. And then I just get a massively awesome double headshot kill. And I try... I was hungry for more headshots, so I try to kill that demo and almost die. But uh, I do survive. And I do accidentally bump into that soldier, and I was expecting to get blown up. <laughs> and then I get hit by that spy, so, you know, a little rusty. But uh, I do try to pick off that demo without dying and I do do it successfully. Um, you'll notice I jumped when that sentry started shooting me so I'd get a little boost backwards and that's actually something I'll do all the time when I see a, a soldier shooting at me I'll actually jump and try to surface rocket away. It uh, just screws up his aiming and sometimes I'll actually just get away from one rocket alone so uh, I do camp the spot because I don't think that they can see me when they come out of spawn uh, I pick up a kill, and then I see that pyro coming up, and he lags, and I miss a stab. You can see him kind of teleporting around through my through my demo lag, but um, he was jittering around, and I was a little flustered by that, so I do die. And that does start, like, a death spree for me of, like, a string of embarrassing death, which <laughs> I'm not too proud of, and it hurts my pride, but... Um, you know, whatever you guys, I'm a slave to you guys, so I'll show you this anyways. Um, you know, sped up, of course, since it's not interesting. I don't think I get any kills at all. Uh, I do try to stair step a pyro, fail. He gets a revenge on me, and it's uh, really sad. But this is the last life of this video. Uh, I do win the game this. Not directly, perhaps, but uh, it's pretty obvious that I win indirectly, so you'll see. <laughs> Don't take my word for it, but um, I, I do see that heavy, and I kill him, and then immediately drop disguise because I know for sure that medic knows that I'm not a heavy, so and I can't deal with the uh, heavy's movement speed, so I do get a matador stab on him, and uh, then I run for my life away from the other heavy, and. Um, <coughs> From there, I just kind of infiltrate. Uh, at this point, I do have a disguise, and I know there's a uh, dispenser up there, so I'm just going to sit there and wait for an opportunity. Um, right now, my invisibility watch is functioning a lot like a cloak and dagger. I'm just chilling there, um, full health, full cloak, full everything. And I see a sniper there, and I just clean up. Another one jumps in, kill both of them. Um, that pyro didn't hear anything, he's checking, he didn't see me, he didn't hear it, and so I just continue on my merry way. Um, at this point I have killed four people, and then I finish up with five, and at that point our entire team just rushes the point and we do win. Um, I was about to kill this heavy, I heard him revving up, and I knew he was going to be a problem, uh, but I did see that pyro there, and I knew we were about to win, so... You know, not a big deal. 
Um, I did top the charts with more than twice the next person, I believe. And, yeah. Um, like I've said before, you know, the year is probably my favorite unlock, and I want to do more commentaries, because I feel as though that wasn't my best, um, my best playing, so I'll get back to you on that. Thanks for watching, guys. Today is my mom's birthday, which is actually very convenient. If you've been keeping up with my videos, you'd know that my girlfriend's birthday was yesterday, and so my mom's birthday is today, which makes it very hard to forget either of those, which is um, makes it very easy on me as a boyfriend and a son, so <laughs> I'm glad for that. Anyways, I'd just like to thank you for almost 19 years of loving me and taking care of me, and it's it's hard to properly thank you for everything you've done over our YouTube video, but thank you for everything. Uh, I hope you have a great day, and, you know, happy birthday. I love you.